Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome to Vernum 2 Crystal Souls! Whew! Today we're going to try and make a quick episode here. Of course, I have things to do, places to be, dragons to meet. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding about, uh, you know, I have some real life stuff that I'm going to have to do in, in soon, actually. So, that's a bummer. Might not be as long an episode as they usually go. Travel to the Vanatai. No, we won't do that. Let's investigate the tower. That sounds easy enough. Oh, so not cool. Okay. Yeah. Actually, what happens? I would love to know. Oh. Yeah, okay, we can't. There. Hey. This cavern contains a gigantic fumarole, spitting sulfurous fumes and stifling steam. You are unpleasantly close to one of Avernum's natural centers of volcanic energy. The warmth from here heats the lands surrounding Formello. Oh, there's the tower. And there we be. Solberg's Tower called it. I hope we don't die. Just ahead, you see a massive spire of basalt rising from the fiery caldera below you. A small tower is perched atop the spire, precariously balanced. As you approach, you feel like someone is watching you. Despite the heat, a chill runs up your spine. Something dangerous is concealed nearby. Suddenly, there are bright flashes of light ahead of and behind you. When the smoke clears, a gang of leering infernals circle you. They inspect you carefully for a few moments. You disappoint them. The largest one rumbles. Not Solberg. Not Solberg's minions. Simply our next meal. Then they attack. Oh, imps. Okay, okay, okay. So. So. Clearly, we can do this. I have, I have no idea. I'm, I'm making assumptions here. Tower of Solberg, crown clearance. Oh, good. Well, okay, that's pleasant. We're on something. Hmm. I don't think... no... I see rain, maybe, instead of haste? I don't know! Nope, nope, we'll use the icy rain next turn. Because they'll have to move close. Okay. Now... Oh, we can keep going. Not too shabby. We're doing pretty okay. There's a cave demon. I think last time we checked, we can't actually kill cave demons. So that sucks. Um, you can try and icy rain them. I doubt that would do much good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's good. We lucked out. But, um, seriously though, that cave demon is going to pose a serious problem. Very shortly. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't think the oozing wand will work at all. Icy rain, I'm totally down for though. Just gonna keep icy raining. That's good. The cave demon actually took quite a beating that round. Maybe we do have a shot at this. Um, could we? Oh, almost. Ooh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay, thank you. That was quite lovely. Oh, okay. Just barely survived that one there. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. See if we can't icy rain him again. Yeah, that icy rain is doing quite well. Lots of fire opponents early on, and/or fire-resistant fellows. It seems like they're mostly attacking Aiden, so something is working with the imps, as far as the challenger trait goes, I should think. Not bad. Very nice, we got our first level 8. Okay, that was super nice. Whew, what a fight. Okay. You circle around the base of the tower, stink sticking to the narrow ledge. The walls of the tower are one smooth sheet of stone, topped with a featureless dome. You see no entrances or exits. Okay. As you walk around the narrow ledge surrounding the tower, you feel a brief tingling sensation. Nothing else is happening. You feel like someone has magically inspected you and found you wanting. Whoever is inside the tower, they don't want you here. Well. That's a bummer if ever I saw one. Solberg doesn't want to see me. I wonder how I could get to see Solberg. If that is at all possible. I don't think I get, I, get, I get only to go past here. I don't think there's anything on the ground at all, hey? Uh, just some rocks. Nice tower, though. Definitely must say. Oh, look! There's a secret passage there, which would, to me, imply... If there's a secret passage there, there must be a way to get there. Oh, found another fella. Mm -hmm. Now, the question remains where is the secret passage? Where is the secret passage you speak of? I suppose it's here. This seems risky. Oh, it was risky. Okay, fire lizards. Three of them by the looks of it. You can see the red down there. Pleasant. Okay. Now, keeping in mind that they are fire lizards, we must icy rain. Gosh, icy rain is great here. This was clearly the land of icy rain. Oh, good. Lovely. So, so absolutely lovely. It's ridiculous. Okay. 
Wasn't quite expecting two fire lizards, but I think we can handle them. Hopefully. More icy rain. So much ice everywhere. Love it. Okay. You get to... Oh, good effort, good effort. Ooh. Ah. Uh, not bad. 10 resisted, so 33% resist from this fellow. Is it actually 33%? This fire is 48%, so... Huh. Mm. More icy rain. And... Oh, that was supposed to finish him off. That's alright. Not too shabby. Broken sword, we don't need it. Don't we need any of this stuff. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. So much. Yes. Okay. The fire lizards caught themselves a soldier. You can barely make out the insignia of his tattered armor. It's the crown symbol of the Empire. Must have been an Empire spy. Good riddance. Well, is that... Is that all you're going to say? That's it? Good riddance? Well... Shouldn't he have some kind of Empire signia mark that I can take? Do I have to, I'm going to have to come back here later, aren't I? That's kind of a piss off in the half. Right? Because he's got the... It's the crown symbol of the Empire. It must have been an Empire spy. I should be able to take his insignia, I should think, and then be able to use it to gain myself some Empire clearance. See? Whatever. We'll remember that. Come on, really? Really? What, do I need the Orb of Thralny? For those of you who don't know, the Orb of Thralny is a legendary Avernum artifact that allows you to fly. I mean, obviously... Oh, that's kind of cool. Whoop, See, it's as I go up and down. But, um, yeah, it looks very much like there's no way of getting over there without flying. So that sucks. I was kind of hoping there would be a thing here. But alas, there is not. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Okay, well, we've done our part, I should think. What's over here? You encounter a group of hostile creatures. Do you let them go? No, we're gonna kill them. What are you? Cave crawlers! Bring it on! Aha! That's, wow, brutal. Okay. Whoa! Epic. Mm-hmm. I was kind of hoping that would level us up. What are, we, what are we waiting on here? Oh, good. 20 experience points. I feel like we can do 20 experience points. What does this sign say? Someone recently placed a sturdy cavewood sign here out in the middle of nowhere. It says, Avernite Pylon Survey. Cavate Bon. You take note of this obscure passage. Record it. Cavate Bon. Well, so there's no pylon here, but Cavate Bon must be the words to teleport into Solberg's Tower, maybe? kind of miffed that we're only a few experience short of, you know, leveling. Is there any place I could go to quickly get that? Oh, oh of course, we're going to get it as soon as we uh, describe. Describe tower and get the uh, mission objective for that. Uh, is there a button for the journal? No, there is not. Okay. So investigate tower. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miles, the head librarian. Perfect. Maybe he'll give us... Well, no, he won't give us anything that useful. Maybe a scroll. You start to tell Miles what you... Oh, look, a healing and curing elixir. That's not bad. What you learned of the remote tower, but he stops you. Ah, uh, sorry. I have been informed that the tower is a secret Avernite installation, and we ought to stay away. He gives you a pair of potions for your trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's Solberg, you jerk. He's a legend. But, at least we're all level 8 now. So, let's do a quick test. First, I, I wanna, I, I'm sure I could just look this up, but it's going to take like a second to test it. Um, I believe Townsend? Stoppard. Stoppard will buy things. Okay, so, I'm going to talk to Stoppard. I would like to sell something. 
Okay, and then look at how much we can sell things for. So, where's the bars of gold? That's kind of the go-to. So, 400 for 2,000, okay. And now we're going to save the game and give this man, you know, um, hmm. I'm going to give him the negotiator trait. So hopefully he will get, right? Does he get the negotiator trait? I should hope so. Yeah. And there we go. Negotiator increases the value of items you sell by 10%. Okay, so I give him negotiator. Now, instead of 400, uh, it should be 440. I should, I guess. So what did we what did we find? 440. Okay, that's nice. Now let's see what happens when I get that second negotiator. Does it stack? And it should stack. I just wanted to. You know, be sure. Now, also the other thing too is, is he's a lot easier to hit, right? And I think it's the dexterity thing. Ten, six, four, five. Ten, four, five, five. Ten, six, four, five. Well, um, I don't know. Extra bit of dexterity might not hurt him. Ugh. I wish this was easier. It seems so wasteful to give him that extra dexterity. Really, endurance is is decently lovely. I mean, he's already got a decent, you know, resistance to a bunch of that stuff. Strength, however, is is beautiful. Heavier armor. Yeah, okay, we'll go for strength. Um, I'm really not sure where to go with this. Uh, I'd like to get him hardiness and lethal blow. So, perhaps I will just proceed with that. Oh, he's got a lot of focuses he can take. Parry mastery already. Each level increases your chance of parrying enemy attacks by three. Why couldn't could he? Aiden could get parry mastery too, right? I should hope so. Anyways, um, we're going to take negotiator. Yep. Okay. He was able to, right? Should be, yeah. Okay. Anyways, what happens now? Uh, it should be 480. Uh, hey! That's great. That is so, so great. Yeah, everyone's just going to get Negotiator. And then we have lots of money all of a sudden. Keep going with the Intelligence, I guess. Um, there's really no other way around it. Spellcraft will do... Grab the negotiator. Okay. Priest. Spellcraft. Negotiator. Okay. Now we can we can sell stuff. And I don't think you can upgrade negotiator. Right? Like if you look at five sixty, so you know that's that's decent, isn't it? Well, it says Negotiator 1, but I, I doubt you can get Negotiator 2. Yeah, see, it always says Maximum Increases, and there is no Maximum Increases under Negotiator. So we've now got our Maximum Value of Items with four Negotiators. I'm going to actually save the game here. Okay. And now we can, we can just start selling things like mad. So, let's start by selling everything in the bag. Boom, we just made 2,480 coins. Love it. Let's sell all of the useless crap that we have. So bronze shields, I'm not feeling it. Uh, crude short swords, no. Yeah, we don't need crude short swords anymore. Mm. Bronze shield. Uh, iron short swords are a little bit better, but I think we do have some steel. Yeah, we've got a steel short sword, which we might hang on to. Um, the chain mail. I'll keep one, maybe. Cave wood bow. Hardly. Steel javelins. That's tempting to sell those, but I won't. Nimble sandals. Rusty helmet. Hardly. Um. Oh, maybe what I ought to do is actually just 
Yeah, yeah, put them in my junk bag if I don't need them. Hmm. Iron javelins and steel javelins. Crude javelins are pretty pathetic. Um. Hmm. Keep our herbs there. Our usables here. What's the difference? Oh, healing elixir. That's lovely. I do want to pass that over to our cleric. I think. Yeah, she's also the correct collector of Arania fangs. The nimble sandals, while lovely in theory, are less than ideal. Um, the herbs can go to the mage. Okay, that's decent. Let's take a look at what we have here. Um, a bronze helmet. An iron helmet. Let's try... Yeah. Let's try armoring her up. I don't need a rusty helmet anymore. The iron breastplate, absolutely. Minus 10% to hit. Oh. That's worth it. These two will be iron breastplated. Right. Chainmail rest for you. Um, okay. Yeah, it's time to armor her up, you know. It's not like... I don't know, I just I don't think that... Well, I'll hold on to... Tell you what, I should hold on to some of this stuff just in case for, for a little bit. Because I don't know if that actually impairs her chance to hit with spells. And in the case that it does, um, we're going to want to deal with that. Hmm. So. Collectibles. Yeah, she's actually got a lot of collectibles. The Gleaming Dagger. Artifacts, I'm not keen on selling those too quickly. Oh, right. The Shield of Sucker. Was 8% to bear. Yeah. Iron short sword again. Good spear. Don't think we need that bowl. Um, I think one pipe ought to be good enough. Okay, wood, crude, sandals. Now she could probably actually take a couple items. Oh, take the hourglass. Aha! What a lovely collectible. Yeah, I'll take the cauldron. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Um, what could we give her besides a shielding potion? Maybe a healing potion? Anybody? No? Not really? Okay. Well, let's pass some of... These shielding type items. The fine robe, I think we can just sell. Mm, the wands can hang out here. Crude broadsword, iron spear, iron spear. Mm. Broadsword and uh, hold on to the towel just for funsies. We can sell one of the iron spears for sure, and that leaves us with this fella. Don't need his belt. Oh, the gold bars. Goodbye, sweet, sweet gold. Um, the chain mail. Goodbye, crude leather gloves. Hmm. Alright, so those get to hang out. Leather helmet. Heavy boots. I'm going to keep the heavy boots. I'm going to sell the belt and the iron short sword. Um, right, lots of collectibles with this fella. So, uh, feel free to pass a 
speed potion. Or something, you know, over there, girl. Alora. Hmm. Okay, that, that feels pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> How else could we armor her up more? I mean, if we wanted to, but I don't think so. The iron shield would be nice. The... Yeah, the leather greaves, not that great. Boots for boots. Yeah, none of this stuff really feels worth it, but I'm, I'm going to try the chainmail for a little bit. The goblin cleaver versus the gleaming dagger. Huh. Weakness curse for two turns. That's not that bad. Probably a little bit better, actually. We'll go with that. Could she dual wield? Oh, she could. Look at her. wielding daggers. That's pretty badass. No, okay. I feel like we're we should be quite content. Um, that should bring up his armor significantly. Yeah, 67, 57. That's decent. Our two fighters are well enough armored. Uh, the, the parry here is starting to look real nice. So that's pretty exciting. What does he have for legs? Leather pants. Could we get him something better than that? Leather Greaves? Potentially, but not really. Okay, cool. I think this is a happy, happy place. You've just seen me go through the inventory. Sorry about that if that was a little bit dull, but, you know, that's kind of a cool, cool feel when you can make lots of money. How much money do we have, by the way? What's the... 3,300... Oh, we didn't actually sell any of that stuff. Right. Let's, uh, let's give the big sell. I would like to sell something. Everything in the bag. Boom! Made another thousand. So down. So down with that. Okay. And that means we can now get all the spells we want in the world. Look at this. Uh, what sort of services? We teach for some holy rituals. Look at that. Hmm? What do you think about that? Loaded on spells. I could probably get some uh, cave lore, whatever else I wanted. Um, I wouldn't mind one or two luck. So I might get some luck from him and some cave lore and other things. How are we doing for being recognized? Reputation 10. That's cool. Yeah, I know. So this is a great place, I think, to stop. I know this is a little bit shorter than usual, but I did say it was going to be shorter. Um, yeah. No, feeling pretty good. All level 8. Got lots of money. Um, yeah, I'm just going to grab a few spells next time we come back and then hit up Motrax's cavern finally. So I've been teasing you guys with that for a little while. We're going to visit the epic, beautiful dragon. See, looks something like that, probably. That's probably Mo tracks. Huh, just noticed that. That's cool. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Avernum 2 Crystal Souls. Yeah! Bye!